Welcome to Snap-on Training Solutions. This module is designed to help you get the most out of your EthosEdge diagnostic tool and covers the use of scanner data in graphing view. I'm Jim Moritz, Global Field Trainer and Sales Support Representative. Live data parameters are some of the most valuable clues to help track down a vehicle fault. Live data is one form of backdoor information, or data that is output from the Vehicle Electronic Control Module, or ECM. A numeric view of parameter ID, or PID data, will not always reveal problems or show relationships between PIDs. Graphing relationships between data parameters gives you a view of performance over time. Data graphing can show momentary failures and data trends over time. The view icon switches the live data viewing mode between a numeric view and a graphing display. From one to four graphs can be displayed on the screen. The graph provides a large number of data points plotted so you can compare events over time. Multiple graphs allow you to view relationships between components. Scroll down for more data by using the scroll bar on the right. All data is continuously being recorded for all available parameters for the selected ECM. Values to the left of each graph show the current, maximum, and minimum value of captured data. Minimum and maximum values are stored even after the data has scrolled off the screen. The PID trigger is a valuable tool to automatically capture data when a parameter value is outside of normal range. The set trigger command sets upper and lower values to start recording a data movie when the signal crosses the set value. This is similar to an OBD2 freeze frame. To set a trigger, select the data parameter you want to use. Then tap the trigger button and select set trigger from the drop down menu. Tap the plus and minus buttons on the toolbar or use the keypad to position the upper trigger line to the desired level. Tap the check mark on the toolbar or press the Y button to accept the value. The lower trigger level line will appear on the graph. Position the line to the desired level. Tap the check mark on the toolbar to accept the lower trigger value. The trigger points will appear as horizontal lines across the designated parameter graph. Triggers can be set on up to three parameters at once. To arm the triggers, tap the PID trigger button on the toolbar and select Arm Triggers from the drop-down menu. The trigger lines on the data graphs change color to indicate an armed condition, and any data point outside of your set conditions will pause data collection and save a recording. Once triggering is armed, it remains on until you clear or disarm. The Save icon saves all data stored in the buffer. Simply tap the Save icon. Then select the Previous Vehicles and Data icon on the home screen and select View Saved Data to review the movie. Select the movie file you wish to review. Change to Graph View. Use the arrow buttons to scroll forward or back through the collected data. Scroll down to view more data parameters. The zoom icon incrementally increases and decreases the scale of the data being displayed. Tap the zoom icon and select a plus level to zoom in for more detail. Select a minus level to zoom out and see more data. Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Be sure to watch the rest of the modules in this training solutions series.